Welcome on in everybody, my name is Air Angel and I am on the couch with President Flygun and Kirby 703. How's it going? What's up? How you doing? Pretty good. Let's go. We're doing a little slumber party <laughs> segment here. So we're gonna do a little couch segment for the next couple hours. And I am so excited to kick it off with Sailor Moon R on the Super Famicom. Uh, <laughs> should be percent normal. Uh, you hear me laugh because it's one of my favorite categories. It's silly. It's, it's kawaii. Yes. Um, welcome to my aesthetic, everybody. <laughs> um, but we are just going to get this run started. And it happens as soon as I click uh, Chibi Usa, which is what this says on the screen. In three, two, one, go. All right, good luck. Thank you. All right, so everyone's wondering, why is it called Chibi's Person? <laughs> um, so for this particular category, we play as Chibi Usa. Um, instead of the inner planet Sailor Scouts. Um, every Sailor Scout has their own fighting ability, uh, and Chibi Usa is also featured in this as sort of like a special um, side character almost, because she can't, she can't do a lot of the other attacks. Uh, as you saw there, I could do like a sort of like a spin attack uh, that does do damage to my health, not a whole lot, so I definitely utilize that a good bit. Um, and there are also different levels of difficulty in this run. Uh, there's easy mode, which actually you only get through the first two levels. Uh, and obviously like the bosses are easier to defeat. Um, normal and hard mode, you go through the full game and hard mode is just very, very difficult. Mm. <laughs> there is a co-op uh, option for uh, playing sort of like the normalized game. Um, which is a super fun category and people should definitely run co -op. I should have brought my controller. You could have taught me today. I'm sure I surely could have learned it with all the free time we've had here at the studio. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so much free time. So much free time, let me tell you. Um, also, you see, I sort of jump my way around. Uh, that is actually the quickest way to get around. So not only do you have a tiny girl running around, <laughs> hitting people with a parasol, she literally has to jump to get to places because it is faster. That's actually amazing. Yeah. Uh, all these great. animations are fantastic. Yeah, it's pretty great. Um, the music is pretty good, too. Some of it could get repetitive at times, but I usually just focus on uh, you know, cracking skulls with my parasol. With your parasol, <laughs> yes. Cracking skulls. With my parasol. I All love right, that. here we are. Yep. Um, and the health pickups are food. So go figure. Any any foodies out there? I, I think I need some health pickups <laughs> right about now. Yeah, I'll, I'll be honest. Yeah. Let's see if we get a cheeseburger later. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, we also have a special attack, which I will be showing off later. Um, if you look on the top left corner, you can see I have three lives and there's two ribbons. The uh, ribbons uh, designate the special attack. There's only a couple of drops throughout the entire game, so you really have to use them sparingly. Mm. Um, and just as a heads up for everyone in chat, I will be donating $10 for every death I take. Ooh. And I know for a fact I'm going to take two because that's strategy that I use. Um, <laughs> like, it is in my strats to die at least twice. So no matter what, I will be donating $20. Awesome. If, um, anyone, if anyone in chat wants to match that, that yeah. would be fantastic. So chat, you gotta keep up with the death count because your girl is uh, fighting bad guys and it is very difficult to pay attention. And um, how about these enemies look like aliens? Like they- Oh, they are. <laughs> they, actually, oh, okay. they actually are aliens. Oh, okay. um, so I guess going, <laughs> going back to my community's favorite, the lore. Yes. Okay, so Sailor Moon art uh, takes place. It's sort of like the second segment of like the Sailor Moon series. Um, to not like give everyone a bunch of spoilers, uh, what happens in the first part of the series, aka like the first 80 episodes if you watch the anime. Um, I personally read the manga uh, and they're sort of like mashed together. Um, but so Sailor Moon is just hanging out with her boyfriend and this little girl falls from the sky on top of them. Uh, with like a toy gun like pointed at them like you better tell me where this is <laughs> and they're just like who are you and then she's like you better tell me what this who this is or whatever I'll shoot and it turns out to be like an actual toy gun like like something that would have like yeah, that's amazing yeah it's like a, it's like a nerf gun or whatever yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> and, and uh so if you notice at this point we actually don't have our sailor uh like Sailor Guardian outfit. That's just because at this point in the series, she did not have her powers. 
Um, she does have the Luna P ball, which we will use later, and I will point out later, um, as sort of like her only form of defense. I mean, other than a parasol. <laughs> yes. So that's another reason why she doesn't have uh, the wide range of attacks as everybody else, because she doesn't really have, you know, that that special ability yet. That comes a little bit later, uh, sort of. Actually, it basically happens uh, after the final boss. I don't think they show her transform or anything because it's like a big moment. And again, I don't want to ruin the series for anybody, even though it has been out for like 30 years. <laughs> so spoiler alert, it's been out for 30 years. Go watch it or go read it. True. Um, but yeah, so basically it's just like she drops in on the Sailor Scouts and she causes trouble because she's just kind of, uh, she's very stubborn, go figure. Just like Usagi. Um, which I'm not going to drop another spoiler there, but everybody in chat that does know, like, you know why she's called Chibi Usa or Chibi Usagi. Uh, you put the two and two together. Um, and also, can we get a shout out for these shoulder pads? True. <laughs> like, honestly, the design is, is stunning. Um, so basically, like, the main quote unquote strat of this game is try to keep them on the screen as much as you can and sort of like push them together in a corner and like group them. Um, you can hit them off the screen to a point, um, and I actually use that uh, to my advantage during the bosses, uh, which will come up soon. So this is the first boss battle. Nope. Uh, so you want to push Emerald in the corner, and you sort of have to walk a little bit away from off screen so she could come back on screen. <laughs> Um, because if she stays off screen, I can't actually reach her. Her hitbox is uh, not reachable because I'm chibi. <laughs> so, right. Ah. Yeah, so we basically do this the whole time. Uh, but sometimes she moves around, so you got to make sure you keep her in, keep her in the corner. <laughs> Baby keeping the lady in the corner. <laughs> ah. And uh, yeah, so basically her attack is like this weird dance kick thing, which is, I don't... I don't know, either here nor there. <laughs> it's just like, okay. Tiny girl falls out of the sky. And apparently we're in Paris or something. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> like, whatever. Yeah. Um, and Tuxedo Mass is like, oh, you did awesome, bye. It's like, you did nothing. Like, why are you every here? Single every, every, single every single time. Every single time. Every single time. Tuxedo Mass shows up. Like, what are you even doing here? Go home. You didn't do anything. We don't need you here. This is the all women marathon. Yeah. Try again next time. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> so you have this really nice transition screen so you can, like, Flex your fingers because I get sort of tight gripped when I start yeah. playing. Would this um, be a good time for donations then? Uh, yeah, that'd be great. Yeah, um, so we've got a couple of good ones here. Um, Morgan donates $20 and says, Malala funding escalation. <laughs> I'm not going to do it in the actual voice. Um, Thanks for this amazing Sailor Moon run and to all the runners and staff for such a wonderful marathon. Uh, we also have MK donating $10, who says $1 for each of the inner and outer century. I'm amped to see Sailor Moon R on the Super Famicom and support Malala Fund. Keep up the great work. And I will say, chat did pose an interesting question that I think we'd all like to know the answers to. Who are your favorite Sailor Scouts? Mm. Oh, Lord. Because <laughs> this is a heated question, chat. You come into my house and ask me these personal <laughs> questions. Do you want to go first, Flygon? Yeah, I've always been a uh, Sailor Mercury fan. I always wanted to be her. I thought I kind of looked like her, so she's definitely my choice. What about you, Kirby? Oh, man. I've only watched a few episodes of Sailor Moon. It's okay. That's that's all the experience I've got. Which color, then? So which color? color. <laughs> like... um, I'll just go... I'll just go with Sailor Moon. I'll pick the right. main character. Yeah, Can't be that contentious. Love that for you. All right, so we just picked up a rose. So the different pickups give you a different level of health. Uh, rose gives you a full health bar, so that's really nice. Um, okay, back to chat's question. <laughs> so there's a real big difference for me between like who I think I am as like a Sailor Scout versus like who my favorite one is. So I'm gonna answer the first part of that because like my absolute favorite does not exist. Mm. Um, I, I like a lot of them for a lot of reasons. Y'all are putting a lot of pressure on me. But so personally, I feel like I have sort of like the athleticism and like the competitiveness as Sailor Jupiter, mm. but also this kind of shy and kind of nerdy of uh, Sailor Mercury. But also the intense hunger all the time 
of Sailor Moon. Yes. <laughs> I'm hungry all the time, Chad. Yes, I love that. I'm hungry all the time. Let's be real here. You need some health pickups. Yes. <laughs> I need some, need some health pickups. Give your girl a health pickup. If anyone wants to send some food out to the studio, <laughs> just hit us up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so these little roly-poly guys are like really annoying because they're one of the few things that could actually hurt me. Um, so this is gonna be the first time I use the special attack um, because uh, these enemies are sort of annoying to like get off the uh, That was an amazing enemy! Yes. <laughs> Luna P, attack! Um, okay, so this is uh, what I like to call uh, I am the captain now six sequence. Um, basically, you have to just kick them off the boat and they die. So, ah. uh, speaking of dying, that's my first death because you skip the uh, death animation if you fall off the boat. Nice. Yeah, so, so it, it's just a health pickup? Uh, it's basically just like a replenish of my life. Um, I do lose a life doing it, but it, it basically like she she has a she has like a death animation that takes forever. Mm. Ah. Um, and since I use so many spin attacks here uh, to kick them off the boat, it's just easier to do that. Makes sense. Yeah. Cool. That's a cool strat. Yeah. Right. So basically, you try to get behind them as much as you can. These little pirate <laughs> pirate sprites, I guess. Yeah. Um, but also, as you can sort of tell, they definitely reuse sprites over and over. Oh, yes. <laughs> so, oh, yeah. So it's like they definitely just have like a catalog and they're like, yeah, let's just go with that. Um, yeah. I will say the very first game, the very first Sailor Moon game is, uh, it's not that good. <laughs> um, I only say that because the hitboxes are so bad. Mm. Like I will literally be, be, be like standing in front of the boss and like actively hitting it. And it won't land a hit at all, and then it'll hit you. That's rough. And you're just like, what did I do to you? That's like, rough. other than trying to, you know, save the world, I guess. Um, I'm gonna try to s just kick this one off the boat without losing a life here, because there is a rose coming up. Is that a health pickup? Uh, the rose is like a full is like a full health replenish. It's not like a, it's not like an extra. Extra life, but mm. yeah, I guess it is a health. It's like pickup. a Maxim tomato. Yeah. Kirby. Yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> it's a tomato for you, Kirby. Yeah, I, I like to know a thing or two about Maxim tomatoes. <laughs> Maybe. Wait, we have a moment for a quick donation. Yeah, go for sure. it. We have five hundred and twenty-five dollars from the Yeti. Yay! That says. Hey, all Yeti here. We're happy to say we've raised over $1,000 from shirt orders. Thank you to everyone who's ordered a tea. Your support makes all our efforts possible. Thank you so much, Yeti. And I know I ordered my t-shirt the day I saw it come out. You definitely should get yours too. I haven't gotten the one for this event yet. Uh, Kirby, you gotta get on there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I see you wearing the fleet shirt. I love yeah, that shirt too. And now the one from this event is like a bright red. Ooh. Gorgeous. I'm definitely wearing that one tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is Sapphire and uh, same concept. Baby puts big guy in the corner. Here we go. <laughs> that's right. it. And that's the same strat for when uh, you play as like on normal mode too with okay. the other Sailor Scouts. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't make any sense. The tuxedo mask is like, oh, you did it. It's like, okay, Get bye. out of here. Get out of here. No. <laughs> Tiny girl fell out of the sky, started beating everyone up with a parasol. Look, she took charge, okay? I'm happy for her. Yeah. yeah. Oh, we got an A. Look at that. Wow. Yeah, look. <laughs> These sequences are so cute. Like, seriously, I love them. All right, so now we sort of get in the most uh, difficult portion of the game. Uh, these enemies have a lot more uh, health, um, take a lot more damage, and a lot more shoulder pads, Chad. Mm. There's going to be an excess amount of shoulder pads going on. I can't stop it. You can't stop it. We're just here for I the I don't want to stop it. I love the shoulder pads. <laughs> can't stop, won't stop. Fan. Can't stop, won't stop shoulder pads. Exactly. Um, but this would be a good time for donations because a lot of these sections are just like big chunks of en en enemies. Sure thing. Um, we have $30 from Pike who says, this money is going towards Black Eagles and Fire Emblem because my girlfriend loves Edelgard almost as much as I love my girlfriend. Aww. <laughs> That's adorable. And also, just to remind y'all, we are pushing for that bonus game incentive. So if you want to put in any sort of donation towards that three houses run tomorrow morning, that would be a very good thing to do right now. Partially to support that game, partially to get some uh, Pokemon Snap in your life. 
Absolutely. Yeah, the great part about it being a milestone incentive is that every single donation is going to help make Pokemon happen. And I'm a little bit biased, like slightly, but I really like Pokemon. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> you like Pokemon? Just a little bit. Frozen Flygon, everybody. Flygon loves Pokemon. <laughs> Have you seen the Flygons in that game? They're heckin' cute. Let the record show. There's been a Flygon on the show that actually says she likes Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> Pikachu. The truth comes out. Can yeah. we get some Pikachu in chat? Yeah, for real. <laughs> Uh, you can keep going with donations, by the way. Perfect. Um, I have $10 from BKG, who says, I have but one word. Hashtag, I ya 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 any person Kamiko hype. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's go. <laughs> Anybody in my community will know I am Air Angel, aka Aya Angel. <laughs> Chat, if you donate and you have an Aya, I will Aya. And I, I will, I, uh... Yo? I will, uh, yeah, for you. Yo, you got, like, 20 more minutes for Ayaz? Let's do it. 20 more minutes for Ayaz. Let's get it going. I, I, I might even be able to pull off that, the, the height of the voice, too. Yes. Ooh. Can we, can we get a $5? Choo-choo, Aya. Train? <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right, so that's the third death. Because these ladies are mean. Mm -hmm. They seem like it. The good thing is it really doesn't seem like deaths are super catastrophic here. No, and I also have like a million continues, by the way. Yeah. So like so even if the death counter goes down, I I I do have life. That's good. There will be life. Um also it is very terrifying to get hit by these because they literally electrocute you and you can see the skeleton. Yeah, I hate that. <laughs> it's like, oh my god. It's terrifying, honestly. Like you y'all made this cute game and you just did that. Like uh -huh. someone was like, okay. We gotta throw in some one really creepy thing in here. And he was like, I got it. <laughs> yeah, no worries, I got you. <laughs> like, what? But it's like that with every Sailor Scout too, I think. And they have like their own different animations, obviously, when they get hurt and when they die. Um, which is, I wouldn't say it's funny, but like some of them are just like really extra and really over dramatic <laughs> when they get hit and like when they die. So it's just a couple of roly poly. Come on. <laughs> it's just really funny to see. Mm -hmm. All right, so now we're inside the Crystal Palace. Let's go. More sh Now we have shoulder pads and goo people. The goo people uh, spawn whenever they feel like, so <laughs> that's the RNG catastrophe yeah, of this game. sounds like goo it. <laughs> goo it's people. It's a good sprite. It is, I yeah. agree. And there's going to be different colors of goo people. Um, basically, it just depends on like how much health they have. So the red goo people have the lowest amount of health. That is, we just made up a, a, a race of people, goo people. Goo <laughs> like people. I don't even know their proper names. I just call them goo I people. I love goo people. That's that's the move. They don't need an official name. Yeah, o officially unofficial goo people. All right. So now the gold goo people have twice as much. Oh, which is there we go. Not great. No. And we also have spinny pirate sword sprite back. Like, Fantastic. <laughs> so they're back. The gang's all here. The gang is all here, except for the actual gang. Like, <laughs> where is everybody? Right. Like, this chi this child is just doing this all by herself. They're like, you know what? This is your day today. Yeah, Go she's, ahead. You she's can fine. It. Yeah, she's fine. <laughs> yeah. She's honestly fine. Power of the parasol. <laughs> Power of the parasol. Um, so the reason why uh, there's separate categories for the, uh, this particular one and all the other ones is because uh, this one takes longer. <laughs> just, just plain and simple. Um, okay, well we have coffee. Um, so the pickups are actually dependent on how much health you have. So if you go to the next screen and you have like a good amount of health, it's not going to give you a large pickup, if that makes sense. Um, very few times I've actually gotten a ribbon during one of the pickups, which is very surprising because the ribbons are the special attack uh, and are very rare. All right, so I'm gonna do like a one, two, and then spin hit combo here. And then that basically just keeps them in the corner mm -hmm. because goo people tend to just spawn up whenever they want. Uh, you can also downwards attack, but that also kicks them backwards. Oh. Um, so like, if I want to kick them backwards, uh, that would be a good way to push them. Uh, but in this in this case, I don't want to do that. And I'm going to try to sa save my spinny power for the next section, because the next section is basically more spinny people. <laughs> right. So, ah. um, if there's any more donations, we could just sail through them. 
Sounds good. Um, I do have a five dollar donation from Meow Tendo, who says, "Ah yeah yeah yeah." Good luck once again to my friend and awesome sauce speedrunner, Air Angel. So proud of you. Less than three. Less than three. Hi, Meow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I told you, Chad. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> I've also got $20 from Sunev, who says, donating to both Pokemon Snap and for tomorrow's Celeste file name. Trans rights are human rights. Trans rights? Mm. That's like the best file name ever. Okay? I know, right? It it's is. amazing to see that it has over $2,000 in it. Thank you to everyone who's donated for that. I love having that as a file name, so. I've also got $15 from Failed Uplink, who says donation for Malala Fund and to see multiplayer Tetris and Pokemon Snap. Let's go. Mm. Ooh. Yes. I might and be a we fan. have an anonymous $100 donation. No comment. Thank you so much for your generosity. Thank you so much. Holy buckets. Yeah, I definitely want to see that multiplayer mode. Do you, <laughs> yeah. want, do you want to see that multiplayer mode, Kirby? I yeah. could be convinced to see multiplayer mode. <laughs> <laughs> it's a tough sell. Okay, okay. Okay, so spoiler alert, chat. The rest of my couch is also playing games after me. <laughs> so, <laughs> so there may be a little bias as to what's coming up next. But, but honestly, we're all here for it. And, yes. you, and we're all here to support and hype each other up. So that's what this whole event is about, is empowering women, like being there for each other and uh, doing games like a little bit better than literally anybody else. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love this event's energy and the fact that we get to do a couch block like this. It's, it's super yeah. exciting. And I hope that everyone's enjoying it so far. I'm having a great time. Yeah, it's been a lot of fun. A lot of memes. Yes, of course. <laughs> um, speaking of memes, I would like to give a shout out to the meme team of the social media volunteers and the rest of the volunteers, but meme team, you're the meme best. <laughs> you're the leader of the meme team right here. Hello, yes, I am meme ah. team. <laughs> All right, so more goo people, and then we get to fight Rubius. B big shock, it's named after another gem. Amazing. <laughs> so, like, so hopefully the, the goo people will stay in the same little area here. Um, I am going to use my special attack uh, coming up soon-ish on uh, the gray goo people because they come in all shapes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there they are. All right. All right. Where are you? Okay, so they have to be on screen in order for it to actually work. So if you do that uh, while they're off screen, uh, it's not going to work. Oh, and man. and uh, baby's gonna throw a big guy in the corner again. <laughs> so <laughs> like, this is this is the content you get. Uh, so I ran out of the special attack. So I'm just gonna be smack smack smack. <laughs> the big old the big old smackaroo chat. If it works, one it hand. works, right? <laughs> We're doing the big old smackaroo one hand chat. Smack smack smack. Right. <laughs> Everyone say it with me. Smack smack smack. Like, smack 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 smack. <laughs> <laughs> and he's down. Nice. All right, we have one more level area to cover. And we're awesome, obviously. She's just like, ah, no big deal. I <laughs> just cleared out all these people by myself. And Tuxedo Mask <laughs> sweeps in to say yeah. something not, ne not necessary. Yeah, like nothing that contributes to any conversation <laughs> that anyone has ever had. <laughs> like, basically. I like this little cutscene. Same. Look at Sailor Moon's face. Yeah. <laughs> That's my favorite. Her eyes are so good, yes. Okay, so at this point, they give you like spoopy music, uh, and it's like really ominous. It's <laughs> just like, what's gonna happen? Uh, so we're like in space. Um, I guess a little more of the lore. Um, Basically, this entity called Nemesis tries to take over the world with like dark energy and like black magic almost. Um, I don't want to give a lot of it away. Again, it's been out for 30 years, but you never know. Someone could be like binge watching it or something, I know. Um, but yeah, Nemesis turned themselves into like a giant planet or something. So, like, are we on Nemesis? Maybe. <laughs> we don't know. It's just, there's a lot going on, chat. Read the manga, watch the anime, do the thing. Donate to charity. <laughs> I agree. I, I, I second all of those statements. Uh, if you want to read off some more donations, this is going to be yeah. like a enemy heavy area. 
Cool, cool. We've got some people who are donating to charity. Woo! Um, Murphy donates $100 and says, great event so far. Um, we also have $5 from Wall Kicks, who says, Air Angel, you the best. Less than three, Wally. Oh, Wally, hi! Less than three. Nanaki Emmy says, I, or donates $25 first, and says, I already ordered the t-shirt, so defo donating for a chance to win the poster. Can I just say it is so nice to see a couch on a speedrun marathon again? Yeah, Almost yes. like old times. Good luck, ladies. Also, save the animals. Ay, yeah, yeah. Ay, yeah, yeah. Save the animals. Ay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. Yeah, I love this poster. <laughs> it is so, so beautiful. <laughs> it's so good. Mm -hmm. I'd, I'd drape that anywhere in my house, really. It's I would like love to put it behind my like, stream. You know, you see behind the stream. Oh, so cute. I could just like see myself having a dinner party and just it would be like in my living room. <laughs> um, so what's that? Um, the best thing ever? <laughs> Do you not know what that is? Like, who are you? <laughs> that would be a good conversational piece, chat. It would, it would. Um, so I'm going to take another death here. So that's a big old four zero so far. Um, because this next section, if I don't have the spin attack, it's not going to be nice. <laughs> in the air. <laughs> this is the content you need. Roly poly dudes. Unofficial name, by the way. I don't know what they're actually called, <laughs> but I call them roly poly dudes. I, I like it. I'm here for it. Quack, quack, quack. Quack, quack, smack. <laughs> smack, smack, smack. Smackaroo. Nice. Yeah, it's. This is, don't you hit me. How dare. That was rude. They're that was trying rude. to get you to cough up fifty dollars. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Lord. How hard is this game on your hands? Do you find the oh, mashing to be pretty tough? Uh I do because so if you hold down the bumper buttons like I'm doing now, basically you can do the spin attack while moving. Mm. And I just always hold them down for a sort of like a security blanket when I'm speedrunning this. Uh so I just grip it like a like a heckin' hecker. Right. <laughs> like, I don't even know how to describe it. But yes, it's it's very, uh... Okay. <laughs> First of all, no. <laughs> I'm trying to hit you! Uh, but yeah, I, I, I tend to do, like, a death grip on my controllers. Uh, but that's just... Gotcha, gotcha. That's just who I am as a gamer. Don't do that, chat. It's bad for your hands. <laughs> Take care of your hands. Take yes. care of your hands. Do stretches. True. Hydrate. And stuff. <laughs> But luckily, we're coming towards the end of like the big smackaroo section. Um, so basically, uh, when we get to the final section, there's going to be a couple of stages. I'm saying this right now because it's hopefully going to go by pretty quick. Um, oh, in the air. Oh, gosh. Um, luckily, these roly poly guys also sometimes don't go on screen for an extended period of time. So, like, you could just be chilling there for a while. Gotcha. So I'm going to take another death right here just so I have the spin attack because this section is going to... I love it. You can just hit ah. all of them in a row. That's pretty Look good. Look how satisfying it is, yeah. Chad. Yeah. I did that for that you, Chad. That was such a good look at, look at that. That's <laughs> yeah, that's great. All right. So basically what we do is we have to make sure that we get rid of this set of enemies. There's going to be one more that comes on stage. And this is Prince Diamond. Big shock again. Uh, it's a jewel reference. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, we do have a rose here that I can use later. Um, so there's another set of electricity people. <laughs> like, who carries around electric rods? Right? Chat, don't carry around electric rods, honestly. Like, what are you doing? Get out of here. That's not good for you. And there's going to be a change in music, and that's when Prince Diamond comes down. Um, basically, what we want to do there at that point is we're going to use a spe the special attack um, as well as some normal attacks so we can get his health down. And then by the time we use two of our special attacks, uh, he will be no more. Ooh. Take off the cape. Now it's serious. Okay, so basically I want to attack him a little bit so I can get his health bar down to where it's, it's showing that it's depleting. Okay. Because otherwise, it won't really do that much damage to him. 
There's like a, I guess it's like a sub-level of uh, health that he has. Okay. We're gonna see where we are after this, and if I, it's not enough, I'm gonna hit him one more time. We'll see. Oh, a little bit left, it looks like. Okay, so time is gonna come out, uh, come up when she does sort of like a little pose. And... Time. Nice. <laughs> nice, well done. Yay. It's up 30, that was great. And I think at the end screen there, Sailor, or Sailor, uh, Tuxedo Mask is like, your courage is, shines brighter than any diamond or something. Farewell, Sailor Aww. Moon. And it's like, get out of here. Sailor Moon's <laughs> not here. She's not a message, however. Get your chat, cat jams in chat, Sour, please. This music slap. It's really cute. Uh, but yeah, thank you all so much for letting me run uh, this game. It is sort of a meme game, which is <laughs> awesome. Uh, I play it just to get some stress relief whenever, uh, you know, life's got you down. Put in uh, Sailor Moon R in the Super Famicom. Um, if you want to learn more about this game, you can DM me if you feel like it. Uh, there's not really a Sailor Moon Discord, which I mean, there probably is for literally everything else but the games. Um, but there's still a lot to learn about the run. And again, there's a multiple categories. There's like, I don't know, probably a half a dozen categories for this game and the other games uh, as well. And I wanted to thank both my commentators for being here. Yes! It's so, much, fun. It's so much fun. <laughs> I'm so excited for the couch block. Couch block? Couch, couch block. block. Couch block! Um, but yeah. Uh, my name again is Air Angel. You can catch me at twitch.tv slash Air Angel or Twitter and Instagram on Air Angel TV. Um, but I think that's it for me. And we're going to set up for the next run. Let's do this. All right, everybody. Thanks for hanging in there during the Busoja Senshi Sailor Moon R run. Uh, fantastic job by Air Angel there. And uh, I'm you're hanging out with you while we're waiting for the next run to queue up, which is Candy Box 2 during this incredible couch block. Um, it'll be run by Fle Frozen Flygon, whose name I'm having trouble pronouncing right now. Um, but let's talk about why we're here for a moment. So much like Sailor Moon, we're all about girl power here with Flame Fatals. Um, so we are in support of Malala Fund. And let's learn a little bit about the charity. Malala Fund is working for a world where all girls can learn and lead. Malala Fund advocates for resources and policy changes needed to give all girls a secondary education, invest in local education leaders, and amplify the voices of girls fighting for change. Learn more at malala.org. I've got a donation from a friendly face here. Asuka424 donates $50 and says, quite simply, less than three. And we are currently sitting at $71,260. Just letting you all know, there is a bonus game incentive that we are coming up on. Um, if you would like to see new Pokemon Snap played, we are trying to outdo the Fatal's Gold, um, or the Fleet Fatal's Amount, rather, about $81,300 in some sense there. Um, so we've got a little less, or a little more than $10,000 left to raise, um, and that needs to be done by the end of the Tetris run. So if you have any interest in any of the amazing incentives we've got or any of the incredible prizes we've got now is the time to donate all donations go toward that cumulative goal of getting the bonus game free um so what are some of those incentives you might wonder um an important one coming up for tomorrow is the fire emblem three houses house bid war um for which we are currently sitting at golden deer winning by ten dollars so if you would like to have a different house in the running perhaps black eagles i've seen some black eagles fans out there definitely throw in a donation for that 
We've actually got $25 from Blackheart Wings, who says, I'm currently playing through the storyline casually, so of course I need to see the speedrun. Fear the deer. incentives that you might be interested in. We have a Super Metroid run coming up tomorrow, and the usual save or kill the animals is on the table. Um, right now, kill the animals is winning. We have $100 for kill the animals and $51 for save. So if you want to save those adorable little animals, then you'll want to get your donations in for that as well. All right, we're gonna take a quick break and we'll be back with you in a few minutes. This is Ariana. Um, we are back. Uh, we're queuing up our next run here for Candy Box 2 during this couch block. Frozen Flygon, Air Angel, and Kirby are bringing us some really great games. We have a $75 donation from Anonymous. No comment, but thank you so much. We've also got some other donations from folks um, without comments, but I'd like to recognize them as well. Celeste donates $15, JLT donates $50, Adam donates $30, Spicy Buns donates $15, Gilizama donates $50, Teffy42 donates $25, and Maddie Bo donates $100. Thank you so much for your donations. Every little bit of donation toward Lala Fun really matters now more than ever with what's going on in the world. So we really appreciate everyone's generosity. And we are slowly working towards that bonus game incentive. We are at $71,360. Um, we need to hit about $81,300 in order to beat the last Frame Fatals event, Fleet Fatals. Um, and that will allow us to do the new Pokemon Snap run. Um, so if you have Pokemon you want to have somebody take pictures of, and that somebody, by the way, is Spicy Buns, um, then you should get your donations in for that, um, because that is coming up quicker than you expect. Um, we've got some really good do incentives for um, donations to feed them really good stuff for the rest of this evening and tomorrow. Um, so big one right now is Fire Emblem Three Houses House Choice. Um, we also have a donation incentive for the Celeste Custom Maps run, um, which is naming Madeline. 
And Miss Frozen Flygon, who will be doing this candy box run here very shortly, is also doing that run. Um, right now, Trans Rights is the name in the lead there with a whopping $2,200. Um, so if you'd like to put more money towards that name, that is a wonderful incentive to donate for. Um, we also have some other good naming incentives. Um, we have a Pokemon Let's Go Eevee run coming up tomorrow. And right now, the only donation for Eevee's name is Pikachu. So we should probably fix that. have a $250 donation from Zeta Gundam who says, a goal to me, you say? Donating to Malala Fund, you say? I'm in. Loads of love to all the amazing women who work hard to put on this event. Less than three. Thank you so much, Zeta Gundam. We also have $25 from uh, Nyao Bari. Nya, cat, sorry. Um, $25, they say, Tetris? Tetris. I agree. Tetris. And with Tetris, we actually have an incentive coming up for that as well, which is demonstrating the new multiplayer mode. So if you think single player Tetris is hard enough, and believe me, it is hard enough, wait until you see the new multiplayer mode. It is going to blow your mind. We also have the Kamiko run coming up pretty soon. And there is a incentive to change the category to any percent. Now with the any percent category, it'll be a lot more dangerous and faster. So if you wanna see some higher stakes, that'll be a really good thing to put some money toward. I'm loving the comments in chat that are just Tetris. We have $25 from Lani Akia, who says, let's start a $5 new snap hype train with five tickets and let's name Evie and let's go after the star of this fatal's Bidoof. Loved Sailor Moon Run, my favorite senshi were Neptune and Mercury, the glamorous lesbian I wish I was, and the nerdy girl I am. We also have $25 from Uncle Bramps, who says, cheers to all of the runners, hosts, staff, and everyone else working behind the scenes. Keep up the great work. Thank you so much. We're seeing some amazing donations coming and to get us closer to that new Pokemon Snap run. We've got a $200 anonymous donation that says, love the show you ladies are putting on. Let's get that bonus run, Matt. Kate donates $25 and says, let's go Black Eagles. Violet donates $15. No comment, but thank you so much. And then Brisby donates $25. Hey, a Flame Fatal, it's a long time no see. I'm really looking forward to that new Pokemon Snap run, and we've got quite a bit of money to raise. So let's start that, or let's start, start that train. Five tickets, please. Choo choo. Donut J Rad, excuse me, donates $25 and says, I heard Evie's nickname is Pikachu. I'd say Badoof. And I'm just saying, as the host, I'm very partial to a $5 donation train for naming that Evie Badoof. 
I mean, Pikachu does, doesn't make sense. Eevee and Bidoof are the same colors. They're both fluffy. Pikachu's just Pikachu. And also, if you love Bidoof, just wait until you see new Pokemon Snap, where you can take so many cute pictures of Bidoof. I mean, there's one, there's one like position he'll do where he'll just like float on his back and hold an apple. Like you don't want to miss that action. So please, please, please get those donations in. Bidoof is adorable. Chaos Keyboard donates twenty five dollars and says it's Friday night and I want to see some new Pokemon Snap. Let's get that incentive met. If you want to get your donation in and maybe get a little bit of swag out of it, the Yeti is also donating $5 per Flame Fatals t-shirt sold to the Lala Fund. You can find the shirts at theyeti.com. Um, they have been doing the t-shirts for GDQ ever since 2011. They've been the official merch supporter and they've done some amazing work. This our Flame Fatal shirt is no exception to the rule. It's bright red, which is super cool. And it's got that like faith artwork with this like fiery monster next to it. It's really cool. So if you are in the market for an awesome new t-shirt, then consider picking up the Flame Fatal shirt from the Yeti. We have a $100 donation from JLT. No comment, but thank you so much. And we are getting there, folks. We are now at $72,150. That's a little over $1,000 raised since I've been hosting, so we're doing an amazing job. All right, and we are ready for this amazing candy box to run by Frozen Flygon. So Flygon, take it away. <laughs> 